Often you'll come across situations where you only want one participant to send a message to another participant if a particular condition evaluates as true. Right now, in this communication diagram, object 1 sends this message to object 2. If you want object 1 to send the message to object 2 only if a particular condition is met, you show it by using a guard condition, and you put that guard condition right on the message. And as you can see, the guard condition looks like guard conditions that you've seen in other kinds of UML diagrams. You enclose it in square brackets and just state what the condition is. So now, object 1 will send its message to object 2 only if whatever condition you've defined in the square brackets evaluates as true. So a guard condition in a communication diagram is a Boolean condition, and if that condition is true, then the message gets sent. So that's pretty clear. Let's look at a practical example. Here's an example of a sales department that wants to fulfill an order only if the customer's past due balance equals zero. So sales sends a message, message number one, to accounts receivable to get the past due balance, and accounts re receivable returns that. And now we have this message here with the guard condition on it, fill order. And the guard condition says that this message to fill the order will be sent only if past due balance equals zero. As you might recall, in a sequence diagram, we used an interaction frame with opt to show the same kind of behavior. But in a communication diagram, what you want to do is put a guard condition on the message, and that message will only be sent if the guard condition is true.